the great thanksgiving begins with page 361 of the prayer book. Page 361. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and a joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who has sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. <laughs> Gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you and your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon a cross and offered himself, in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to him and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption of Father in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in Him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And the last day, bring us with all your saints in the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by Him and with Him and in Him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as we say, Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy Amen. kingdom come, thy Amen. will be done, on Amen. earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. The following is prayer for those who cannot now receive the sacrament. In union, dear Lord, with the faithful at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father, I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I believe that you are truly present in the Holy Sacrament, and since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I unite myself unto you and embrace you with all the affections of my soul. Let me never be separated from you. Let me live and die in your love. Amen. Amen.
The gifts of God from the people of God. Take the mercy of Christ died for you. And feed in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, keep you in everlasting life. Amen. My blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, keep in everlasting life. Amen. Jesus Christ, keep your life still.
Turn to page 365. Let us pray. Eternal God, God Heavenly Father, Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> And the peace of God, which passes our understanding, keep your hearts and minds and knowledge, love of God and of His Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. And bless you, God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you today and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.